Hey, how are you doing? Welcome back to Stitchy B. I'm Cheryl Temple. This week I'm reviewing the Egret tank or dress pattern from the Sewing Revival and it's what I'm wearing at the moment. So I was sent this pattern from the Sewing Revival um, to see if I'd like to review it and I just happened to be looking for a top that I can wear um, to go out with friends, something you can put on in the evening. Maybe you're going to the pub or to a, a restaurant. You don't want to be too fussy, um, but you want something easy to wear. And I think these tops are really handy. I know it's sleeveless, don't hate me. Um, but it's really handy to wear under a jacket as well. So I was thinking a uh, gorgeous black fitted jacket, some jeans and some boots, and you're good to go. So let's have a quick look. I chose to make the tank version which as I say is sleeveless. It has a gathered neckline which is super clever because there are no need, um, there's no need for darts, for bust darts because the gathers actually give the excess fabric here to make room for the bust without you doing any work so very clever indeed. Uh, I left the hem raw, I just finished it with my overlocker and I was going to turn it up as I usually do but I thought it looked quite nice and it gives it that kind of lettuce -y hem feel. It hangs better, I think. So if you've got some pretty overlocking thread, you can do that. And I made it from this gorgeous, spangly, um, pre-pleated fabric, um, which I have in at the moment. I'll pop a link below as to where you can buy that. Now, this fabric runs across the grain, so um, the actual folds run across. So I've ignored the pattern layout and I've literally cut it out this way so that the folds run down so that they hang. So you can ignore um, the grain line with fabrics like this. So just use your common sense really as to how you want it to hang. Now then, more about this pattern. So this is my second sewing revival pattern that I reviewed. I reviewed a fantastic top last year that I'll put a picture up uh, here which was amazing and lots and lots of people have made that since so um, the instructions are super detailed I mean loads of detail right from how to print off your pattern properly how to print the only size that you want by opening your PDF in Adobe and also how to finish off the little extra touches so these sleeves are finished off with bias binding I chose the option to sew the bias to the inside. You can sew bias round so it's visible. I tried it at first with one of these but it did stretch this fabric so you've got to think about finish and your fabrics marrying well together. So that's worth a look. Um, Janine who wrote the pattern has included lots and lots of tips in there. So when you first open the pattern booklet it can look more overwhelming than it actually is. This is, you can't get a simpler pattern than this. It's literally two pieces, a front and a back. And um, she also includes a little pattern piece for the bias binding, but I used a pre-bought one and I deliberately chose it because it was stiffer than this fabric, which has meant that the arms haven't stretched out uh, like it would have when I was trying to do it with the self bias. So again, another thing to be aware of. It would be quite nice this top if I'd have made the full length dress version and you can nip it in at the waist with a lovely belt. That will be the easiest party dress you've ever made. And as we're transitioning seasons here, so in the Northern Hemisphere, we're just about coming into autumn and then winter, the dreaded winter. And of course, down in New Zealand where the pattern's from and they're heading into summer. So I've picked a couple of fabrics that I think you could work well either in summer or winter and this I've chosen for a bit of a, a party top or a party dress and I think it's quite nice for that. So overall, um, I'll show you the fabrics next, but I absolutely love this pattern. I think it's mega easy. It may take your skill level up a notch by finishing the armholes a different way. Personally, I don't mind sewing in sleeves. I, I find sleeves almost a bit easier than finishing an arm. Um, but I know lots of people who want more movement and the ability to wear a cardigan or a jacket over the top than this tops for you. Let's look at the fabric. 
So here's the silver pleated fabric that I chose. I've just been waiting for the perfect pattern to make this fabric into. Um, and really, it's one of those fabrics where the, the fabric does the talking. So the simpler the sewing pattern, the better. And as you can see, the pleats run across the grain here. So do think about that if you're cutting out. Also, the back is pretty much identical to the front, but do make sure you cut them both the same way, the front and back, um, so that you don't mix them up because in certain lights, all of a sudden you'll see the difference, won't you? Sometimes it's handy to put a little thread or a little pin. I wouldn't put too many pins in this because it's a satiny fabric. Um, but yeah, just pop a little thread in so that you know which is the right side and the wrong side. So that was my choice for this season. Um, if it was spring, I'd be totally making this into a dress for an occasion, like a wedding, that type of thing. And I would choose this beautiful Georgette, which I'm completely in love with. I want to make this into all sorts of things. Um, a pussy bow blouse is the next on my list from this one as well. But this would be stunning um, in this pattern as a dress. And you could make a contrasting belt, maybe out of a fuchsia, or you could use a self-lined, a self-drafted belt um, in this and it would look gorgeous. So there are lots of options depending on whereabouts in the world you live at the moment. So it's one of those patterns where it's super versatile. So yeah, I loved it. The, um, the neck is just finished with a, a short length of elastic. In the pattern instructions, it does tell you what length of elastic you need for your size. So I sewed a medium and it gave me the length. It was 40 something centimeters. Don't forget to cut more than that because you'll need a bit extra to leave tied before you neaten it off. And just pop it on, play around with it before you finish up the little hole where you insert the elastic in the fold. And you could see it's nicely finished off by folding over a hem and inserting uh, a channel for your elastic. Another great thing about this pattern is you don't have to print all of the A4 pages off if you just want to make the top. Genius! Why does no one else think of that? Um, and I'm glad I, I realised that just in time. So it tells you in the instructions to print off numbers one to whichever, depending on which length. And that saves you a good, a good few sheets of paper. So have a look at that. Do read the instructions cover to cover on this pattern before you begin. It will save you lots of time. They really have thought of everything. It's one of those patterns where um, it, it, there's so much information, you won't be left not knowing what to do. It's great. Because I know lots of people have said there's some, some patterns are a bit sketchy, aren't they, with the old instructions, but not this one. You can't go wrong with this. And um, have a look also at their links to uh, demonstrations on how to sew these types of bindings. Um, and that's also helpful, which they've thought about on their site. So you, you really feel like your hand's been held with this. So yeah, super simple, nice, easy pattern. I made a medium. I could maybe have even gone down again in this fabric because it's quite stretchy, isn't it? Um, so just bear that in mind. Another fabric that I'd recommend this um, be great in is viscose or rayon. Um, it would just hang beautifully again for a summer top um, and you'll notice that it's bra friendly so I'm wearing a, a normal bra and you can't see it so the sleeves are cut just in the right place which is nice isn't it so you don't have to wear strapless with it so forgive me on the sleeves but they've thought about the bra coverage so it's nice isn't it we'll have another quick look it does skim you in all the right places so if you're out for a big meal you'll feel safe and secure in this and still feel a little bit glam. So you can make it uh, as dressed up or down as you like it really. So there you go, that's the egret tank or dress pattern from the Sewing Revival. I'll pop a link through to their site if you want to buy it. Now, next week, I and I'm coming back next week. Uh, I know I've not seen you for a while. Um, things have been super busy at home, uh, but it really does help now the kids are back at school, doesn't it? So for you next week, 
I'm going to explore ways of you storing your fabric and cataloguing your fabric so that you can see what you've got at a glance. I've got a couple of ideas that I want to share and I've had to do it for myself too. So hopefully you can, you can join me for that. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and I'll see you next time. You take care. Bye for now.